Have you been considering adding a Boston Terrier into your home? Are you wondering how they adapt to new surroundings and training expectations? Well stick around because in this video we'll take a look at how adaptable the Boston Terrier really is. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Mimi and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If this sounds like you, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss a future upload of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. Now let's jump straight into today's video. Let's start by talking about the initial transition from the breeder to their new home. All dogs are creatures of habit and any change of surroundings will cause them to feel anxious and insecure, so be sure to put plenty of thought into how you handle this change. Make as many visits to their existing location as you can before you bring them home, be that the breeder's location, animal shelter or rescue centre if you're having a more grown-up dog. Try and make the change as early in the day as possible. Puppies and dogs are just better this way as they tend to feel more insecure at night time. Make sure that your home is ready for them when they return, with a crate of a similar size to what they're used to and plenty of familiar food and toys. Also, it's a great idea to bring home a blanket or piece of bedding with the scent of their former location. Keep this with them for the first few weeks while they settle in. Boston Terrier's affectionate nature and small size make them a perfect family companion and you will see this from the early days of bringing them home. With the right planning and socialization, you'll soon see they are great with young children due to their antics and unique expression but also they're perfect for people at later stages of life or those who prefer the quiet life and staying indoors. If you put in the early work, you'll see that they can adapt really well to new surroundings and be the perfect companion for the length of their life. As we've already said, socializing them as early as possible to many different sights, sounds, people and experiences is vital. It will really help them settle into their new surroundings quickly. Examples of things you might want to include taking them to the local park where they can interact with other people and other dogs or going for short walks where they can experience different sights and sounds. Experiences like these from the earliest possible age will ensure your Boston puppy adapts to their new home, it will help with training and it will ultimately help them to grow into a well-rounded dog. When it comes to training, will your Boston Terrier adapt well to new expectations and what can you do to give them the best chance possible? Well, it starts with planning before you even bring them home and then implementing it on day one when you first bring them back. Plan a schedule that is going to work for you and that you can implement daily that fits around you and your family. Think about feeding, toilet time, training, play, family time and downtime. Make sure you are familiar with what they are used to in regards to treats and rewards before you bring them home. It's a good idea to make sure the first thing you do when you bring them home is take them to the area where you wish for them to go to the toilet. Spend as much time with them as necessary until they have relieved themselves. If you have decided to crate train them, I'd suggest introducing them to that next. Leave it open for them to wander in and out of at their leisure. From here, you can move into whatever schedule you have decided upon. Make sure they have plenty of time with the family, but also plenty of solitary time so that they get used to being on their own as early as possible. It is good for them to know that when you will always come back, but if they are whining during solitary time, it is important to ignore them and not reward that behaviour, but encourage the good behaviour when they stop with treats and attention. If you implement a solid plan from the beginning, you will find that your Boston Terrier adapts really well to training. Boston Terriers are an intelligent, affectionate breed and they're lively. They can be a little bit stubborn, but each dog is individual. Stick to your plan because consistency and persistence are key when training them. Remain a calm, consistent leader and you'll find they adapt to training like a dream, despite any stubbornness. We touched upon the idea of crate training. It's a good idea to consider crate training your Boston Terrier whilst house training as it takes a while for them to grasp the toilet training if not done properly. A tip to remember when training a Boston Terrier is to use motivational, positive training as they are sensitive to your tone of voice. Punishing them too harshly may cause them to quickly lose interest in you and also training. To help them avoid losing interest, try and make training a fun experience. Some good ideas on how to do this include playing trick crate games like throwing a ball into the crate to get your puppy used to going in and out of the crate by themselves and to create a positive association with it. Another good game that dogs love is crate hide and seek. To do this, get your Boston Terrier to stay in their crate and wait. You go and hide. Once your dog finds you, reward them. 
These types of games will hopefully make training fun and keep their interest. So as you can see, your new Boston Terry should adapt really well to his new surroundings and expectations if you prepare thoroughly. Follow through on your plan and remain the calm and consistent leader that they deserve. You'll find that they make a great addition to your home and will be the perfect canine companion that you have always dreamed of. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We have two dedicated Boston Terrier videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show.